<laughs> Hello, welcome to a quick shortcut on how to solve a quadratic. So let's open up our calculator. This is the top of your calculator. This is the bottom. Doing it on that TI Inspire. We're going to calculate something. So you may remember in class, you've got a quadratic and you think, hmm, I want to solve the quadratic or I want to, if it's equal to zero, or I want to factorize a quadratic. We don't know how to do it. We type it into a calculator, that does nothing. Normally you would find the number that multiplies to get to three and adds to get to four, which is three and one. So we can actually solve this using the calculator. So you go menu, three, polytools, real roots of a polynomial. You type in this thing here and I'll show you how to do that quickly. You can press up, up again, and use your normal um, Windows shortcuts, control C, scroll back down, control V, and you've copied it in. So it's saying we're going to solve this for the roots of the equation or the x values if it was equal to zero. But we, we have to tell the calculator what's our unknown. So we have to do comma here and then x and then press enter. And it's told us the roots of this equation or if we make this equation equal to zero, it would be x equals to negative 3 and x equal to negative 1. So let's try a trickier one. So you can also just type the word poly roots and then the equation. Oh, let's mix it up. Let's do y. y squared minus 56y plus 208. So maybe you get this on the exam. You can't think of the factors that multiply to get to 208 and add to get to negative 56. So you can just type it into your calculator, tell your calculator you're solving for y, and then press enter, and it tells us that y is equal to 4 and 52, or this factorize is bracket y minus 4, bracket y minus 52, okay? And that's the shortcut for solving a quadratic equation. Hope that was useful.